right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site, the coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. So why does, like, nobody else get up when these cases start? Anyways, welcome back to Lenore. I'm going to start calling it Lenore. I'm just messing with you. Oh, yeah, it means a lot, you guys, dropping them likes, all the feedback, all the hate. Brad, you missed this. Brad, you missed that. Oh, I love it. I soaked that shit in, You're a modest little person. and I turned it into positive videos. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Yeah, we'll see. This actually looks like a really interesting case, so I'm kind of eager to see what happens. I'm actually going to drive. Is he coming, or what's he doing? If I leave him behind, will he not, like, see me or whatever? I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah. If you're enjoying these Looks longer like the videos, DA's just let me know. Charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. And I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes her fish. I'll convince him to let it go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. All right, so Lester got his ass Phelps? whooped. <laughs> Let's check this out real quick. This poor guy didn't stand a chance. I'm going to check the inside of that hat for, like, money and shit. That's what I would do. Then again, I'm not a detective. I'm playing a detective. I ended on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Oh, shit. Nothing there. So, uh, let's change it. Uh, let's go... Let's check. Disarm. Nope, nothing there. There was a game that I, I never got a chance to play on my channel, but I played it, like, long before I started YouTube. It's called Indigo Prophecy. And, uh... I'm eventually gonna play that on my channel. It's got just you you know, you're different It's kinda like the same people that made Heavy Rain made this. <laughs> what the fuck? Madison has life insurance. Damn. Well that's probably what this is all about. That's sixteen thousand. No no no, let's not check that. Let's check his other pocket. I feel like I'm playing Surgeon Simulator right now. What is in here? Cash money. We can notify next of kin. I mean, what are you supposed to do with the money? All right, we'll notify his next of kin later, but right now he's just, this dude's so dead. If I was in Boondock Saints, I'd put some pennies over his, over his eyes right now. Is there anything else in this letter? No, okay. It's the same thing. Alright, we've checked the body. What have you got on the victim? The mole reports he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. Something tells me this guy's lying. K-9 
Careful it doesn't look like step. he just had an accident. It looks like he got like, like, shot and stabbed or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's like something in a completely different... Body traveled a good 20 feet. That doesn't make much sense at all. I'm just gonna go to these little little spots. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Maybe I can talk to some of these people around here. So the driver managed to break before the impact. So that one has cushioned the blow a little bit. He's all yours, detective. I'm gonna talk to this woman right here. She see anything? No? Oh wait, hang on. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Her statement was like so quick that I couldn't really get a good... I, I thought she was telling the truth. I'm, I'm just going to try that. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Oh shit, I did get it. Alright, suspect vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Damn. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. 3C8. Okay, argument overheard. Let's try that one. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. No, she ain't. They really go like these. I'm, I, I gotta go with doubt. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Hang on, I'm going back outside. I, I feel like I didn't search everything. Is there like... Yeah, there's all this shit around here. I can make a phone call over there. Uh, let me make the phone call really quick. I don't want to go too far away. The one thing I've loved about Grand Theft Auto games and just Rockstar in general is just they have their We're own world, policemen. like the Insta Heat thing you see it a lot. The early bird gets the one. The second mouse gets the cheese. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. Looks like we caught a break on this one. I'm gonna check a little bit more, cause what, okay, I checked all the little yellow cone things for the exhibit A, B, C. That's D right there. And where was A at? Yeah, behind him. Okay. Is that it? Uh, what the fuck? Oh, my controller is going crazy. No good to me. 
What's that thing next to it? What is that? The hell is this thing? Nope. You know, I feel like uh, the detective stuff is funny because it's like when I was going through customs to go to Canada, it was really funny. Oh shit! Jesus! I mean, what? Knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Jesus, I just hit a jackpot. Let's check back here. I don't see anything else. Controller's not doing anything crazy. Everything else seems fine. Let's check these vehicles. We kind of do like a, cl a, a pretty much a clean sweep. The hell's back here? Is this the bathroom? So this is why everybody comes to raise. I don't want to use intuition to help. With the search for clues, that's kind of that's kind of ruins the whole game right there. This whole game is like perfect without waypoints. That's the ladies' restroom. No, thank you. We'll talk to the bartender. Bartender. Uh oh, here we go. Flashback. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. I have to say, these are probably the easiest 20 plus minute videos I've ever had to do. I'm Detective Just because the game the is so engaging. I like it. How can it. I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Hit and run accident, or incident, excuse me. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here and all I heard was the impact. I I don't know about that. I'm gonna doubt him. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. <laughs> Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Seems like he's telling the truth. I don't know. This would be a great game to uh, live stream. Customers. Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. 
He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Oh shit, I gotta use intuition. I, I don't I have no idea. Uh I don't know why why I mean it's so beneficial that I've Oh twenty five percent have chosen the correct answer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. I thought it was doubt. Oh man, this is tough, guys. Oh, it's almost 50 50. I, I'm i gonna go with doubt. I know truth is heavily weighed. But I'm guessing by the 25% getting it right, with mathematics calculated in there, I would have to say that if 25% of people are getting it wrong and truth is the top one, and everyone's seeing it's true and then getting it, I'm gonna say doubt. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? The owner? How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. What? You're so full of shit! Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Okay, so what we're about to do now, uh, I guess... One of these two residents, uh, this is where we're at now. Actually, I think this is where we're at now. Let's try the Pattison residence. And I'm actually going to let him drive. Uh, that's probably going to be it for this video. Uh, these videos are just so quick. I mean, is it me or do they just go by like lightning? I mean, it's, it's insane to me. But when we come back, we'll go to the other two residents and then keep moving on up in these ranks. But I love you. Thanks for the likes. And you guys stay classy as always. You drive. I need to go over the case notes.